It's the height of summer, and that means it's right in the middle of rattlesnake season. We're going to show you how to deal with that. Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and we'd like to thank all of our subscribers. If you haven't already, hit the like, hit the share, and hit the bell for instant notifications. Also, if you want to support us, come find us on Patreon. Now, today we're going to talk a little bit about rattlesnakes. Um, it's a part of life in Southern California. Now, if you run into a rattlesnake, because it's in your neighborhood or on your ranch, there's different ways of dealing with this. Um, my first choice would be you can call a local removal service, which will come out, capture them, and then release them back into the wild. I'm not an advocate of killing anything. I don't want anyone to ever think that I'm a sport hunter to where see a snake, shoot a snake. However, you may run into a situation where you really don't have a choice. Your kids may walk up on one. You could have one curl up next to your front door. You could have one in a position where you really have no choice because it's a time sensitive issue. So, dispatching a snake is, as far as I'm considered, a last resort. Rattlesnakes do a lot of things that are good for us, including eating rats, which spread disease. So, it's not like I hate snakes, but there are going to be times where you may run into a situation where there's no other choice. That being said, we have a really nice product that's made by CCI. CCI is a national leader in the manufacture of ammunition, and one of the things that they make is what's known as snake shot. Now, if you look at this, you're gonna notice that what you've got is a cartridge with a clear blue plastic cap that encases um, smaller multiple shots. So what this does is it acts like a mini shotgun shell. Now for those of you that go out on the trail and you happen to be carrying while you're walking or hiking, what I like to recommend to people is that you carry this so this will be the first round up once you either cock it in single action or draw down in double action. So when you actually pull the trigger or activate it, it's going to rotate to top dead center. You follow that up with uh, solid shells in case you run into something like a mountain lion. Now, these are made with aluminum casing. They're lightweight, they're disposable, you can't reload them. And one word of caution is that these are meant to only be used in handguns, not in a pistol caliber carbine. If you fire this in, say, in 357, say you fired this in a Marlin carbine, this blue um, cap is not going to exit the barrel, so you're going to end up with a blockage. So only use these in either a revolver or semi-automatic. Now. These come in multiple calibers. You can get these in 9mm, you can get these in 45, but just like any ammo, especially defense ammo, you want to test it. Because in some semi-autos, there might not be enough recoil generated to where it's actually able to reciprocate the slide and reload a follow-up shot. Um, I can tell you that when I had a Beretta 9mm, it wouldn't work. But with my H and K, it would. So you're going to have to try it out with your individual gun because if you have a semi-auto and say you've got a heavy duty spring, you may end up with a real fancy single shot that you have to cycle every time between shots. All right, so stick around. We're going to put our ears on and we're going to do a live fire demonstration to show you how these all work. Be right back. All right, we're back. We're going to show you how the snake shot works. And one thing I'd like to mention right up front is these will work at about 10 feet away. I know that because I put a measuring tape on it last time I had to do this to see what a safe distance was. So I could stand 10 feet away from the snake and be able to get the uh, um, results that I wanted without getting too close. All right, so I'm going to load two. 
there they go. They just drop right there into the cylinder. One of the things we like to show is the fact that this little mark here, because it looks like an arrowhead, means that the cylinder is going to rotate in this direction. So if I have them over here, when I pull the trigger back, it's going to rotate to top dead center. All right. So you run up against a rattler. It's up against the house. Your kids are in danger. Aim for the head. That's two. All right. We're going to empty. We're going to show safe and clear. And now we're going to walk up and take a look at the results. You're going to notice, if this was the rattler's head, that you've got several different penetrations here, at least a dozen, and that'll be plenty. So, no more rattlesnake. Cook them up, make some tacos, but don't let anyone tell you it tastes like chicken. It just isn't. Anyway, um, you can get the CCI snake shot available at just about any gun store. If they don't have it on the shelf, I'd be surprised, but you can always special order it. So, once again, I'm not advocating killing snakes just for the sake of killing snakes. This is a last resort. So, um, on behalf of Shooter the Series, I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. Thanks again to our subscribers, and come check us out on Patreon. Y'all take care.